In this video I will show you how you can easily transcribe audio files to text with Node.js using the Whisper model from OpenAI. If you want to follow this tutorial along, make sure you have a audio file ready for transcription and a valid API key because we will be using the OpenAI API. As first, we are going to create a new directory for our project. Open up a terminal and create yourself a new directory. You can name this whatever. I'm going to name this OpenAI Whisper. Direct into this folder. And as follow, we can open this in our code editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. In here we can create a new file called index.js. This is where we go into write our application. Then we can create another file called .env. Here is where we go into store our OpenAI API key. To obtain a OpenAI API key you need a OpenAI account. So if you don't have one, make sure you sign up and otherwise you can log in. So after you logged in, you can go to the API docs. And once you are logged in, you can see your avatar at the right top corner. You can click on it and you can click on view API keys. In here, you can see your API keys. For the sake of this video, I will create a new secret key. You can give it a name. So I just call this whisper and I will create a new secret key. And like it says here, if you lose the secret key, you can just generate a new one and you can remove your old one. Make sure you will never share this API key with someone else. Everyone that has access to your API key can make requests on your behalf. And since the API is not free, you don't want this to happen. Copy this secret and go back to your code editor. In here, we create a new variable. We call this open AI API key. And we paste in our key that we just copied and we save it. As I've mentioned, the OpenAI API is not free. Although when you create a new account, you get a free amount of credits to spend to test out their API. When I signed up, I got around $18 free in credits for three months to spend. And since the API is relatively cheap, it's a nice way to get you started. But it of course depends on your use case. Here you can see the pricing for the model that we are using in this video. It costs around 0.006 per minute. So it's pretty cheap. If you want to know about all the prices from each model, you can go to this page and you can see it yourself. Now that we have our API key ready, we can install the needed dependencies. We need .env in order to use our environment variables or actually variable. And of course we need a package to send a request to the OpenAI API. So let's go ahead and do that. We will install .env and we will install Axios for making a request. Now that we installed all the dependencies, we can now import it in our index.js file. If you might notice, we didn't install FS. If you are not familiar, FS is a native node module, so you don't need to install this separately. We need FS in order to create a read stream of our file. I've just converted a YouTube video to a MP3 file and I've added this in my project directory. So if you're following along, make sure you have a audio file ready as well. Now we can create the actual function that is going to send the request to the OpenAI API. So let's call this function transcribe. We will pass a file to this function that's going to be our audio file. Then we can make a post request to the OpenAI API. So we make a const with response and we do await axios post we will need a url this is going to be http s api dot openai dot com slash v1 audio transcriptions and then we can pass a few parameters the first parameter is the file be aware that file uploads are default limited to 25 megabytes and the following input file types are supported. If you have a audio file that is bigger than 25 megabytes, you will need to break it up in chunks of 25 megabytes or less. You can also try to compress your audio to a lower format. Also a thing to notice is to get the best performance. OpenAI suggests to avoid breaking up the audio in mid sentences as this may cause some context to be lost. For the model, we are going to use whisper one. We can also specify a optimal prompt. 
to guide the model to improve the quality of the transcripts generated by Whisper. The model will try to match the style of the prompt, so it will be more likely to use capitalization and punctuation. However, current prompting system is much more limited than the other language models, and only provides limited control over the generated audio. You can also specify a response format. This can be, for example, JSON. That is the default, but you can also use text. Other response formats, you can check out the docs if you want to know more about that. Then you can specify the temperature. You can choose a value between 0 or 1. The higher the value, the more random the output will be, while a lower value will be more specific. Then we can specify the language. This will be the language of the input file. The default language is English, so make sure if you're uploading a file that is not English, you can change the language parameter here. I will remove all these parameters because I'm not going to use it in this video, because it's not really necessary. Then we need to send some headers with the request. We need a content type. This is going to be multi-part form data. And we need a authorization header. And in here we can grab the OpenAI API key and save it. Once we make the request, we can grab the text from the response. And now we can create a function called main. Now we need to grab the file. We can create a read stream from it. And in here you just type the location of your audio file. It's just in our root folder, so we can just do audio.mp3. And now we can create a new const with transcript. And we can fire our function that we just made. And we pass the file. Now we can console log the transcript. And we can fire the function. This basically does all the job. Let's now test if this works. So we can open up our console and we can start our app by running node index.js. Sometimes this will take a while. And as you can see, it transcribed the whole audio. We can now play along this audio to show you that it works. So if we go to the top here, we will just play a bit of this audio file. All right, guys, so before we get started, I wanted to show you guys uh, three really important concepts to this choke. And uh, just getting these concepts down and keeping them ingrained in your head is gonna make the choke 100% easier every time you go to do it, you know? So pay close attention, or attention to these close, uh, these three details these three concepts and it's going to make the whole buggy choke a lot. So as you can see, it did the job perfectly. So this is a really nice function. I think this whisper model is pretty powerful and you can create some awesome things with this. I already seen some amazing apps made with it. It has a bright future. So yeah, if you think this video was interesting, make sure you like comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. For now, I want to wish you a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one.